Today on A Comedy Good MTG, we're back to Simic Sex Tuplets. This is my version two of this masterpiece. Um, I might be calling it version three just because I considered my last deck to be version two. Uh, for since it wasn't the original deck that I picked off of somebody else. Uh, in this one, we are upgrading what we had from then, trying to make use of some suggestions other people gave me, plus a couple of days of just playtesting. Leads to this. Are you interested to see if this works any better than before? It does. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, a person who is so smart that he can watch 60 minutes in 42 and a half minutes. Doctor, you can't suck it. Yes, thank you. Film for a live studio audience. Thank you so much. You can't suck it. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck of my own creation called Simix Sex Tuplets Version Two. Um. Yeah, I think I might have to call it version 3, though, because I think my last one was called version 2 because I copied somebody else's and made some adjustments to it. And this one is an upgrade from that, so it's my version 2, but I'll probably call it version 3. Um, yeah, so what we got here is we, we got the deck we played last time, and while we played it, it was like it was good. I think we can make it better, and this is better. I can tell you, I tried yesterday a bunch, tried some more today. This is the, the first deck out of that that's actually worked out fairly well. And uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the cards super quick. We'll talk about what this deck, how this deck should work. And then we'll go out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. All right, so the whole big point here is Gruff Triplets. These guys come out as a three-pack. And whenever one of them dies, you put all you put plus one pop, you popo counters onto each other card named Gruff Triplet equal to the power of whatever died. So you kind of want to get your guys dead. Um, we got Roaming Throne, which said if you pick Warrior in this case, then uh, whatever happens will happen twice, which means that this guy will come out and create, I guess, uh, four additional guys. So you have five of them. And then whenever something dies to them, you get twice as much as their power put onto them. So Roaming Throne and, and Gruff Triplets are in Sanosaurus Rex together. Uh, undercover Operative can come in and he can become a, become a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except that if you copy your own, you get a shield counter. So you put that in the Gruff Triplets, then you'll get, you know, another three more Gruff Triplets. If you have this, you get another five more Gruff Triplets. So these guys together are just insane. And in fact, you got to get up to six mana probably to cast this guy, but these guys are four. Fight Rigging was put in here to help ramp into hopefully Gruff Triplets faster. Put it out for three. You go looking for hopefully Gruff Triplets. Throw it underneath there. And then start putting your tokens on other dudes to get them up to seven. So you can put out Gruff Triplets for free. Uh, Kite Sail Larcenous comes out. And you can get rid of an artifact or player or creature. And then uh, if this guy die, they get their thing back. But otherwise, they can use his treasure. So they might just do that and never get their guy back again. Otherwise, he's a flying warded 2-3 who after a few turns will become a seven. It'll take a while to grow there, but you'll do it. Uh, card draw. Card draw with a little bit of land thing. Kicker, if you could do it. Uh, this guy will go will let you mill seven if you pay seven. And then you can pull an enchantment creature or land for amongst them into the battlefield, which is what you're looking for is probably Gruff Triplets. Otherwise, he's a little mana raccoon. There you go. Uh, this is protection for you. You could turn your opponent's big, fat, stupid creatures into one ones that's it doesn't die they can't pull it back from the graveyard it's just a stupid little one one sitting out there on the on the uh, battlefield doing nothing being all one one like and fading home to bounce stuff back you can use it offensively or defensively and nice collection of lands all right so there we go what are we going to do we're going to try to ramp our way up as quickly as we possible to try to get this combo working using these cards to either pin down our opponents or to try to ramp ourselves into card draw or more mana. Sooner we get there, better off we'll be. 
All right, so before we go out and do our damage, let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear Black King Toxerol, who dwells within the dark chambers of our hearts, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, we're playing against Tree. All right, we need to get our blue out. That's what we got to do. Okay, watch for the dismount. And kick it off. Kick it off. There we go. Hell no. All right, one of them. Play ahead. Uh huh. I'd rather get some cards rather than not. All right, he's now a legitimate business person. And we get to grab a couple lands now. One, two. And let's turn this guy into a legitimate business person. Hello, legitimate business people. That's right, he's not born clicks, he's a legitimate business person. Where's my gruff triplets at? That's what I want to know. One, two, what do I need here? If I pull this out, I'll have to I can do four more, right? One, two, three, four. I have a whole lot of nothing. Don't be scratching for worms there, Chomper. You're above that. All right, all gone. Okay, let's just speed this up a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not cool. Let's just go ahead and uh, three it. Oh, I still not get anything great.
I could use this guy to get something on my next turn. That'll be fine. Let's just let this stuff go. Get rid of slowness, slow nicks. Put our guys over there. We have the ability to bounce something he decides to put out. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, are you trying to pull what I'm going to pull, huh? There you are. Finally! Jesus, people. Hello, gruff triplets. Alright, I got the ability to do three. I don't necessarily want to do that. Love to undercover operative right now, but that's not going to happen. So if I throw out the kite sail, I could pin down one of those guys. No, let's just hold off. We're cool. Look who's back. This guy's got a lot of mana, though. Another Born Clex. Oh, is that the one I bounced before, possibly? No, we killed. That's what the deal was. Back to where you come from, Val Demon. Nope. Everyone in. Please kill one. You wouldn't do it, would you? All right, cool. You managed to dodge beyond me. That's haste. It's not having instructable though. I would love to die with it. There we are. Rough triplets.
Alright, negative three. <laughs> there we go. Victory! Alright, we're playing against Rhythm Rhythno. Rhythno. Alright. As in I'm never going to dance again. Guilty feet have got no Rhythno. Uh, keep witness protection. I've been playing crappy mono blue counter spells, my jerky friend. Oh yeah, that's what you're doing. Hello, I am a Bramble Familiar. Let's battle out the ones that don't kill us. Alright, so we got four mana. We just got nothing to do with it. I'll turn you guys into witnesses. Don't make me do it. Don't push me. You seem to be checking out my kite sail way too much. I guess you're going to draw some cards. Chew your own guy up. There he is. Witness protection. Witness protection. All right, undercover operatives kind of cool. Let's do that. All right, you think we're going to be taking it? You think we're going to have bringing things back from the graveyard again? It's not cool, man. Do I have six? Auto pay. All right, we got the gruff triplets. We got an undercover operative. We're good to go. The worst thing was if he bounced some of my guys back. That would be bad. This one. That's cool. All right, pop. We 
We got a counter spell up there? I don't think so. All right, this is where we cause some mayhem. You might go for the kill if he throws Adeline in there. Oh, I guess my bounce isn't going to work regardless. How much do I need for a bounce? I need three, right? Four. I only got two. Okay, whoever blocks is going to die. I got trample. It's up to you, Chicken Popeye. There you go, you're down to six. All right, apparently you got one card. You got a lot of guys. I think you're doing math right now is the problem. All right, so I could definitely bounce somebody now. I think I could trample. Will allow me to get past anybody that decides to block. I'm definitely getting one guy pass. I only get to get four additional damage in there somehow. Which means whoever blocks the big triplet has to be bounced. Okay, well that's at least five getting through. You don't have it yet. <clears throat> you gotta you gotta block the big triplet, man. Still not there. Not seeing it. The worst part is your first strike might actually make all my other guys that much stronger. I got trample, man. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and bounce back uh, Adeline. How's that sound? All right, everybody gets stronger. There we go. And they hog pile on them for negative 15. <laughs> there was no coming back from that one. Victory! 
Alright, we we're playing against Hunter Gill XD. Or extra determined. Keep. All right, put out the slow. Chopper, armored chopper is gonna go for the dismount. Here he goes, ready, Ed, go. There we are. All right, two. Nothing worth doing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to Larsenist. Let's practice the same thing. We just turns it into a one-timer. One time rather than multiple times for getting his man out of that thing. But at least I got a guy that's flying in 2-3. If I was him, I would just waste it. I wouldn't bother to get my guy back. He doesn't have any poison there. Let's go for another fight rigging. Alright, so we have Fading Hope to help out in the bad situation. Do I need to turn your poison dart frog into a legitimate business person? Over here, get in. Chomper, there's your pod. Go get in it right there. Look behind you, stupid. Right here, man. Look, there it is. See it? Yeah, right there. Get in. Get into it. All right, that guy needs to be a business person. Business person. Ooh, I see another legitimate business person in somebody's future here. Yeah, man, you can attack. Out of pay. Let's go look at the future. Yes. Do I have the mana for it? I don't know. I don't. Let's just get rid of that. Maybe the next thing we'll get will be mana. We have five. We need six. Got not, it's not enough to even make that thing active yet. Write a poem about how much you love lands. Gotta watch out for that frog. That thing's got uh, two mana. Okay, we're cool. There's six. Let's just put this out.
You could block it, just you'll just die, man. You don't have the mana. How does he have the mana for that? Oh, he himself is his own mana. All right, I'm going to send in the clowns. Pump that thing again. And he'll go, he'll kill two is what he'll do. Let's just send in, let's just send all of it. We'll bounce whatever we feel like. Okay, reach you death touch. You're not going to do it. All right, they're even stronger now. Thank you. Oh, this is it. We win. Wasn't even counting. Negative 16. There we go. Man, Kite Sail, Larsonist for the win. Victory! All right, playing against. Woohoo! All right, there's two. Let's get ourselves out. A little raccoon. All right, he wants to start countering things right now. He's going for the attack. I can see you up there. You're trying to do something. You're not sure. Do you want to bounce back the Bramble Familiar? All right, we're going to slip out our fight rigging now while we have the opportunity. Let's grab a road throne. I like that throne. It'll be nice if we get it back at some point. All right, so that's five. Let's just take it in. And we win. All right. Well, apparently we outsmarted Blue. Outsmarted them. All right. We're playing against Cool Sun 69. I'm sure it's because 68 other Cool Suns was already taken. What do we got? Yeah. Interesting hand. It doesn't really achieve much, but sets us up. Welcome to standing there, smoky armor boy. I'm guessing you're going after Roaming Throne, personally. 
Witness protection? How kooky. Warriors! Come out and play! I don't know where they're at. I'd really like to see them. Oh, he's got it. He's got the extra two. See, we can map up here. Uh, that guy really going to be our future? Yeah, sure. Let's. Oh, I know we got coming up next. Let's do it anyway. Oh, look, it is. All right, we got one, two, three, four. We got five. We'll have six. I just got to get ourselves some gruff triplets. Not coming up next. But the guy wants for seven. We can go look for some cool. So it is seven mil. Yeah, seven. All right, we're going to be pulling green, as one does. Ooh, there they are. Bum, bum, bum! All right, let's do this. Do a little bouncy bounce. Uh, no, a seven. Nope, we're cool. Let's throw a little witness protection. Oh wait, that guy's already at that. It's not gonna help out at all, is it? All right, so you can kill two of them. That's gonna make one guy super big. Oh, he's not up to 12 because we didn't stage it. Well, that sucks. Yeah, good for you, man. That guy, not going to do much good. Ooh, it's a land. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'd only get uh, one card at the mix. There we go, wait. And we win! Yeah, that guy just stalled out. Victory! All right, so we are with Simic Sex Templates version two. At least my version two. It's version three if you count the one we got from somebody else. Um, 
yeah, this was in, you know my attempt to try to upgrade it to see if we could do anything better. And I think, yeah, it definitely seemed to be working out pretty well. Um, <clears throat> what was really good here, you know, I really tried to focus more on the kite sail larceness. These guys did really, really good. In a pinch, roaming throne picked out for like pirate or something would do very well. The problem with this deck is that there's not a lot of overlap amongst the tribalism here. So roaming throne doesn't help out too much. Um, if you're going, if you're just going to be flat out triplets, roaming throne is fantastic. If you really aren't getting the triplets out, you need to go for the larcenist to help pin things down. You could do it, but you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot over the, the over that. Undercover operatives, the guy that likes to sneak in and make everything so much better by duplicating whatever it is you're doing there. Um, big time. The other one is I added yeah, witness protection. They ended up being so much fun. Once again, I thought it was fantastic. You're able to take guys, turn them into one ones. That means they're not in graveyards. People can't get rid of them. They'd have to kill their own guys to get them back. It's a lot of big waste of their resources, which is exactly what you're looking for. Um, the other one was joint exploration. I had a bunch like with Bramble something or other, um, the one that does look for a forest or fight. This one is better just because you need the card draw sometimes. And the ability for it to pull the land in place sometimes, yeah, that's great too. It ended up being the more value card for this particular deck. So yeah, I gotta say, I think this ended up being the better version. I played a lot of versions between the other one and this one, but this is the second one I'm willing to, to broadcast on. All right, so let's see, was this deck, let's go to the MVP first. That says, who was the most valuable player? You know, okay, I'm gonna say, you know, a lot of times, fight rigging. Fight rigging, a lot of times, is a ramp card. Um, but I gotta say, cart style, kite sail, larcenist. That's such a good job of just eliminated creatures, plus giving you a flying ward guy. There's a, so much value associated with this. And what's great, unlike the other exile guys, is that it gives them a treasure that they can sacrifice, and they're more or less willing to do that. So you don't have to worry about your guy getting killed and them getting their guy back. Still, I've seen it happen a bunch. You know, I, you need to paint something down, they kill your larcenist, they get their guy back. But there's like a 30% chance they'll just use the mana and move on. And that is wonderful. All right, so I'm going to pull you, Kite Cell Larcenist. You're my MVP. I got to say, Undercover Operative, this guy is the bee's knees. He is incredibly good. Just light. Kite Cell, I think, has a tad bit more uh, value to it. Just a bit. Uh, it is called the Gruff Triplets. You are the beating heart of this deck. But, uh, you know, your early your early town boys are the ones that usually pay the way for your victories, Gruff Triplets. All right, uh, what was the, was this deck competitive? I, I'm not sure this thing is rank competitive, but it definitely feels like it's, uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, there's a C word I'm trying to think here. Well, whatever, it's non -compet it's, uh, I can't come up with the word right now. It's relaxed competitive. It's casual competitive. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's casual competitive. I got a 71% win rate with this deck, um, which is really good. It's really good. Uh, the, the big things with this deck, um, sometimes the mana gets all kind of screwy, and at which point then you just can't land it. You really need to get to your like Bramber Familiars pretty early. And there was a time I was playing like six of things like Bramber Familiars. And that was really good because you could play them early and get a bunch of them out, which took you straight into the gruff triplets. But it required a lot of you, a lot of the, the right cards to come out really early. And I wasn't too much on the guarantee on that. So I kind of stuck more with card draw to try to keep it going. So it's hard to say, but to me, it felt like, yeah, there were some times that if they were going really aggro, this deck didn't hit its its land drops the way it should have, it was really hard to catch up. This deck has the ability to go super rampy, but uh, sometimes it doesn't. And that that's where the problem is at. It's just sometimes it's with the early on. And I tried to make this thing better ramp, but now that I look back upon what's here, I took most of it out. Like I had the, the hulking raptor. That guy was in here for a little bit, and he was good. It's just that this deck worked great without him. So I ended up just getting rid of him at some point. Because it was great, as you can get up to four, then he makes it a six, which means that you can go straight into Gruff Triplets after that. The problem was, is I wasn't getting Gruff Triplets. And I'm like, I need more card draw, which is why I went back to 
joint larcenist, fight rigging, silver scrutiny, just so that I can try to go find what it was I was looking for, which is gruff triplets, roaming thrones, that kind of thing. All right, but as far as it being a competitive deck, casual competitive, absolutely. Was this deck fun? Absolutely. You know, Kite Sail Larcenist definitely makes this deck, um, gives you that, 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 that early game, screw around with your opponent kind of thing. Um, Witness Protection is fantastic. I love Witness Protection and Fading Hope. That's definitely a Dr. Suckett blue trick kind of thing. Um, I love that crap. So that to me is so much fun. And then we start getting into fight rigging where you can bring back something awesome like Roaming Throne, Undercover Operative, or Gruff Triplets. Undercover Operative, picking something your, your opponent has, making a copy of it. That is fantastic. Copy one of your own guys. That is fantastic. If you could do Warriors and then do Roaming Throne, that is fantastic. It This deck has so much potential for doing things good. And a lot of times it does. I'd say this definitely is in the, myth, the Platinum Mythic kind of thing. You could see it on a list like that. It would play just as well as those. All right, was this deck interesting? Well, it's Gruff Triplets. It's Roaming Throne. There's a, It's Undercover Operative. I mean, there's so many good things to do with this deck. There's, yeah, as far as pinning people down, bouncing things back, getting things exiled, using fight rigging to sort of ramp up into something, as well as making your dudes stronger. What kind of dudes do we have? We got Bramble Familiar and Larcenist. Those are the guys we're pumping with it. Maybe even a Roaming Throne. Get into Gruff Triplets and then watching people having to react to what are they going to do about the Gruff Triplets. The only problem is right now there's a lot of board wipe going on and board wipes suck. But uh, what can you do? You know, there's always there's always some Achilles heel to every deck you play. So anyways, yeah, this is an interesting deck and I think we just made it more interesting. All right, so let's add this up. Is it competitive? Yes. Is it fun? Absolutely. Is it interesting? Toads, my goats which makes this into an A-plus deck. A-plus. And as I'm required by federal law to say, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.